So let me show you that. That's the formula. You can pause the video if you want to get that formula written down. But that's the left endpoint. This is the right endpoint. And what happens is the right endpoint means that the first height we're going to get is f of 0 0.25. Okay, if you look at your graph. And then we're going to go to f of 0 0.5. And then here, f of 0 0.75. And finally, we're going to get down here to f of 1. So what happens with this, the only difference is that instead of starting at 0 or starting at a in terms of a general equation, we start at a plus a base. So 0 plus 0.25. We start here. But we go, instead of going to 1 minus b, so instead of going to here where we stop with the left ones, we actually go all the way to B. So it looks very similar in terms of its formula. It's just, it starts at A plus the base and it ends at F of B. All right, so very similar, just a slightly different starting point and a slightly different ending point. And then finally, we have midpoint approximations and midpoint approximations start in the middle. So what happens then is this becomes F of 0.25 plus zero divided by two. It's the midpoint. I apologize for my penmanship there, but it's the midpoint between 0.25, which is here, and zero. And that so that gives you f of 0 0.125. And we start there. So we start in the middle and then we go by a base. So this guy is f of 0 0.325, sorry, 375, because we're adding Make that into a 7, because we're adding 0.25, and then we're going to add 0.25 again all the way down. All right, so if we add 0.25 to that, we get 0 0.625, and then if we add 0.25 to that, we get 0 0.875. All right, so it's the midpoint between the values we used before. We use 0, and then we use 0 0.25. You recall from the previous examples, we're using the middle of that. We use 0.25 and then 0.5, right? That was 0.5, so we're losing the middle of that. Then that was 0.75, so we're using the middle between 0.75 and 0.5, which is 0.625. And finally, we're using the middle between f of 1 and f of 0.75, which is 0.875. So it starts at the middle of the first, the left endpoint, and the second rectangle, so A plus B, the base is the midpoint of that, and it ends at the left endpoint minus, or the right endpoint, sorry, minus a base plus the right endpoint divided by two. Okay, and it looks like this. Now, this is a fairly complicated formula, and it doesn't really matter too much that you understand the general form of the equation as long as you understand where to get the first point. So we did... The general form but here's an example of doing it in practice and I think it will be helpful to you if you look at x squared we want to go from 0 to we want to use four rectangles okay so if we use our base first of all we go b minus a b is 2 a is 0 and it's divided by n n is 4 so we get one half. Now, with our methods, what we're going to do is the base is 0.5, okay? And the heights, they start at the left endpoint. So they start at zero and they go up by 0.5. So 0.5, 1.5, sorry, 1, and then 1.5. That's the left endpoint. And then what we do is we actually plug in 0, 0 0.5, 1, and 1.5 into our function. So our function is x squared, you remember? f of x is equal to x squared. So we get 0 squared, 0.5 squared, 1 squared, and then 1.5 squared. And you just evaluate that on your calculator, and you get that. Or you can evaluate it by hand if you want to. But 0.5 squared is 0.25, 1 squared is 1, and 1.5 squared is 2.25. You add them together, and you get 1.75. If you do right justified, it's very similar. So everything is the same, except with right ones, we start at the second point. We start at 0.5 here, but we end at 2. So with right justified, we start at 0.5, right? 
then 1, then 1.5, and finally then at 2. So our area looks slightly different. Base is still the same. We're still going up by the same amount, 0.5, but we're just starting one interval over. So we're starting, instead of starting at the left endpoint, we move over by a base and we start there. And then we count from there. We then plug that into the same formula. So we square it again because it's x squared. And then we figure out what our answer is going to be. And it comes out to, this one comes out to 3.75. So we got an answer of 1.75. We got an answer of 3.75. The midpoint is going to be, again, very similar, but the midpoint we're going to start halfway between 0 and 0.5, okay, which is 0.25. So that's where I'm getting that first point. Once I have that, I'm just jumping by 0.5. So I'm adding 0.5. And then I'm adding 0.5. And then I'm adding 0.5. And I get 0 0.25, 0 0.75, 1.25, and 1.75. I square those, add them together, and I get 2.6. Okay, And the actual answer is 2.6 repeating, so that's a pretty close approximation. All right, We're going to stop there, and we'll pick it up after in the next video.